Enbridge Energy is under fire after announcing plans to abandon one of its pipelines in northern and central Minnesota. Clayton Castle joins us live now from our Brainerd studio with the details. Clayton? Thanks, Dennis. Enbridge's plan to abandon the Line 3 pipeline has been controversial from the start. And today at a church in Grand Rapids, members of the community opposed to the plan responded. We would like pipeline number three, should it be decommissioned, not to be abandoned, but to be removed. Reverend David Anderson was just one of many who came out to St. Andrew's Church in Grand Rapids this afternoon to call out Enbridge Energy for its plan to abandon its Line 3 pipeline, a plan that local landowners are opposed to. I think that the money that they made, they should put back into it a little bit and have some respect for us. We allowed them to go across our property. A new study released today by Minnesotans for Pipeline Cleanup outlined the different results and consequences of abandonment, including from an economic standpoint, as well as environment and wildlife standpoint. We have a lot of wildlife. We don't want that uh, tore up by oil spills or anything. We want Ember to clean it up. Cleanup was a common theme of the gathering as a fear of spills and leakage from oil, rust, and other chemicals left in the line had the concerned citizens on edge about the abandonment of Pipeline 3. According to today's study, the only benefits of abandonment are that it's only less disruptive to the environment in the short term and it saves Enbridge billions of dollars. Remove the pipe. It's good for Minnesota taxpayers. It's good for the environment. It's good for the economy because it will create $35 million worth of high-paying skilled labor jobs. And with Enbridge Lines 1 and 2 older than Line 3, this may be far from over. Essentially, we are living in a giant science experiment. A game of let's wait and see what happens and let's cross our fingers hoping that whatever the outcome in is will be safe and in inexpensive. We reached out to Enbridge for a response to today's gathering, and we received a statement saying in part, Enbridge has been operating in Minnesota for over 65 years, and we value our relationships with the landowners, organizations, and communities along our pipeline routes. We are continuously engaging with our stakeholders and are always willing to talk and listen to any concerns. You can read Enbridge's full statement on our website at lptv.org. Dennis? All right, thank you very much, Clayton, for that live report from our Brainerd studio tonight. Now, today's study also noted that this is the first legal deactivation of a pipeline in Minnesota history. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.